Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild playthrough. Last time, we went and did the Middle Trials of the Sword. Then we went up our way to the Goron City. For like the first time ever, it was a really fun time, which then also allowed us to do the Terrytown quests, which was also a fun time. But this stream might be a shorter stream, primarily because I've had like a headache for the past three days. <laughs> it has come and it has gone. It has waxed and waned, but it's still ever so slightly there. I feel it the back of my skull. So, uh, we're probably just going to aim for doing the Divine Beast and maybe a few smaller side quests around Goron City. Just to make it simple and not have to worry about it too much. But I guess as we're going to go, I shall... Let's see. Place that. And we're going to put on our heat-resistant gear because we're going to teleport in and do these shrines first. Might as well. <laughs> have you tried a headache tablets? I have alternated once a day. Like, on the first day, I tried Tylenol. On the second day, I took ibuprofen. Then on the third day, I took Tylenol again, and the third day is today. I think it might have also been the fact that it has been hot here, and the headache distracted me from hydrating. Just like a mixture of things. Almost lost my damn bow. That was close. I mostly think that it's because it's like a stress headache. But... It has definitely gone down the latter half of today. So, so long as I take it easy, I think that things should be fine. It's just that I'm gonna not worry too much about this. A balanced approach. Well, first things first, these can be frozen. And there's weights back there. So if I hit that with like a flame and something or other, that should cause it to fall. Because let's see. Weights. If that goes down, that's get pushed up. We don't want that. We want that to come down. So we either need to put more weight on it or uh, obliterate you. I think we shall obliterate you. Get caught on fire, idiot. Took a remarkably long time to burn. What happened to your Wukong string? Did it get flagged for copyright? It should still be on my... It should be in the raw, like, uh, streams playlist, but I haven't uploaded it yet. Granted, it could also have been flagged, and I just haven't noticed. I'll have to take a look. I don't think that it's been flagged. At the very least. Move things off, because we want this to rise next. So I shall put this down. I wonder, can I push this off? Nope. So we need to get our electric blocks. But the first things first is we want these. Oh, I, I, my 
might be a fool. I might be able to just do it from here. Darn. And then... One thing we might be able to do is use this to bonk it down instead. Haha, <laughs> treasure chest. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna bring back an old joke. The other day I finished playing Pokemon Ranger and transferred the egg, my first Pokemon Ranger egg. Guess what came of it? If I remember correctly, that's the only way to get, like, a... Or at least, at the time, the only way to get a, like, a specific, like, Pokemon, right? So I'm going to assume that it is a... It came out as shiny. Because only so many people are allowed the instantaneous luck. <laughs> Probably not doing this as intended. I'm just using the magnesis to lightly force it down the way I want. Ta -da. I did it. The power of magnets. <laughs> and also from YouTube chat. Hello there. Hello, hello. We're quickly doing some shrines before heading on down to Goron City. Half debating if I want to go and beat up that fire talus. I guess we do have like a... I'm not sure if my heat resistant things actually are super heat resistant. Like if I could actually touch a igneo talus or not. Well, we beat one igneo talus. We could always try another. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We're just doing a chill, possibly short stream. Beginning with these shrines before heading on to Goron City to take down the Lava Lizard. I actually do not know this, like, Divine Beast's name. Rudania! It's Rudania. Varuta, Naboris, Meadow... And Rudania. <laughs> it took me a moment. My headache-addled brain that has been uh, torturing me for three days. I was just like, you're gonna forget the name of the divine beast until after you start the stream. You idiot. Let's see, what shall this one be? Swinging Flame. Well, there's something up there. I wonder what happens if I hit this. Alright. I can... But then again, don't I have a flame? I have a flame. Apparently that's not what the... <laughs> that is not... Oh! I can shoot! I was just too close and annihilated it. And then the stone bow is my dwarf. Interesting. Wonder why this is covered I in moss. <laughs> A long range stone smasher. That's 42 damage, but I there's not really anything I wanna truly get rid of right here. I used Panadol Zavance for headaches, but that probably isn't in your area. Well, bad did these monsters. And plus, like, uh, don't have much, like, uh, like, super need. Because, again, it seems to be, like, waxing and waning, so it should be roughly gone. It cannot see me. It is dumb. Never mind, it is dead. 
Okay. Only one of them was an actual threat. Yep. Hey, this is a good stream. Thank you very much. I at least try to make it entertaining and not too frustrating for people to watch. Hmm. Honestly, I prefer Guardian over Frostblade. Trying to think. Huh. Well, I guess we'll move along to the top up these stairs. <laughs> like, even during my Black Myth Wukong stream, when I was getting very frustrated, I was trying to articulate, I think this, I feel this, I could be wrong, rather than be one of those people that's just like, Nyeh! I am eternally correct! And I proclaim that this game is garbage. <laughs> yeah, you want to be careful about that. Because you can indeed be wrong. Darn. I could have just grabbed it. Come to think of it. Oh, I probably just need to stand on this actual. Oh, and treasure chest. I'm just missing everything today. <laughs> Varudanya, my beloved. This is one of those ones that I have never done. Because, like, I think I have, like, vague memories of maybe. Oh. So that's what we did. Huh. <laughs> it just disappears. And I wonder what actually activates you. Maybe I can fly down. I cannot, in fact, fly down. Hmm. What's behind here? Hmm. This is a bit odd, because this definitely looks like, yes, we can do that. So, what's big and smashy? Let's big and smash. Darn. But bad, my movement's terrible. Let's see what happens. Nothing! I'm a failure. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I do need to light those on fire. Let's see. Eh. Let's see what happens. These are moth moss here for a reason. Maybe. Maybe not. Then again, this is, like, meant to, like, get my attention, and it's a stone smasher. So maybe, like, uh, the purpose is still the same? How the hell did I light that other moss on fire? And not these ones. Maybe it's uh, my placement? Darn it. I am a failure. Fine, I'll just light them on fire the classic way. See if anything happens. Because it is giving me a stone smasher. Which makes me think that, like, hitting something is important. That looks itable. So let's head up and see. And actually look around. Because we need a chest to open this up. And there's, like, a uh, dibbity does. Like, there was moss there to get the, like, uh, magnetic thing rolling. We never did come all the way over here, so it's probably just me being a fool. It was me being a fool. Oh. Alrighty then, did not ex- What even? I'm confuzzled. I guess that is a timed thing. Me overthinking things. I still do think that I should be able to whack it pretty hard and manually start it. 
like all, all ancient technology. But I will settle for being a fool. And here is more button presses. All right, those. Yeah, because we need to get that, so. Well, let's try it again. Flame doodad. I choose you. Darn. I shoot anyway. Because I probably would have had to waste uh, an arrow to smack them anyway, so meh. And the only reason that I'm keeping this uh, flame sword around is because it's really good at lighting fires. For like, uh, what's it called? Campfires. So if I ever want to just like camp out a place where there isn't a normal, like, uh, sit around and get time away, I can do that. So have you just been sitting here for 10,000 years, getting, <laughs> practicing your thing float in the air trick? <laughs> ba -ba. But very unique. A little odd, wasn't expecting the like magnetic sphere to be the secret to opening a door, but that's just me. BRB going to make toaster strudels. I, I think I've had strudel in the past. It's quite nice. And try to get a shiny legendary and platinum. <laughs> May your shiny luck continue and not run out in a tragic way. Well, at least look at it this way. You got your, like, uh, unique... Like, uh... Ba ba ba. Like a unique... Ah, oh, darn it. Darn it. What if I took your rock? I cannot take your rock. The world is biased against God. Yeah, overall, just... At least you got a... Like, from what I recall, pop culturally, a pretty difficult to get shiny, so. Oh, why do you have your reaction your reaction speed is illegal. Stop. You know when I pull the bow, even though you cannot see your crime against reality. <laughs> You're evil. Really, I probably could have just set, like, a a bomb next to him. So that when he popped up thinking I wasn't looking. Psych I was. Well, that definitely looks like a thing. I just want to fly past him to get to the Igneo Talus that one guy was talking to me about. But from the looks of thing, well, I guess I technically... Blah, 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 if I really wanted. Hmm. Do I want to? Blah, 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 to get to it. Because I do believe that that's where it was marked to me. Probably all the way down here. Let's see. I have this mark. Hobbies of the rich. I almost forgot about that. Because there is... Da -da -da -da, somewhere around here. Freezing rod. Rush from rush. Right here. Oh. Where is it? Ah, Goron City. Just wanted to make sure it was in the right place and I wasn't just going on a mad chase. <laughs> My shiny luck ran out a long time ago. I don't think I've ever really had shiny luck. Then again, I haven't really done shiny hunting. But I never really cared to try. Which could just be a me thing. Well, we're gonna go try and fight that Igneo Talus somewhere out in the stuff, because the guy asked for it. Then we'll probably teleport back to that shrine and begin the quest of calming Varudania. And I really need to use, like, Rivali's Gale and stuff more. Fool what I am. Found a shiny Bidoof. Killed my old Bidoof HM slave. 
the racism. This pack mule is a little bit more shiny and special. Here we go to find the Igneo Talus. Here we go to kill it. Because a guy... Uh, well, I don't even think he asked me to. My flame-proof thing doesn't even make me flame-proof. Duh, didn't kill any of them. Now, let's see. Hmm. Might as well use some of my... Bobbity balls. Eh. I'm not touching it. I'm standing on I'm jumping. Total difference. I'll have to wait until I get way, way down. Oopsie dorsey. You fucker. Ah, shit. Ah, I wonder. Ah! Secret tricks that I only just now the the thought to, to try. I am a fool. Yeah. Let's see, what am I mad? I shall numb you. Oh shit. Fucker, you did not even touch me! Mm, illegal in 50 million years! I smack you with ice. You stay on ice. Ah! I wonder why him shaking me does damage. Ow, do not move me into the fucking lava, you bastard. I climb you. Ah! I do not know why I'm doing this voice. It just detains me. I continue to smack you because I can. Aha! Uh -huh. I did it with a uh, slightly less pain compared to the first Igneo Talus that I smiggity smacked. Although now I'm curious, can I just uh cannot? Hmm. Igneo Talus is a uh, weak baby. Can when in thinking about normal. Heated rocks on the ground. I wonder what differentiates a, a talus from rocks, anyway. From YouTube chat. Hi! Hello, hello. We just beat up an igneo talus for a Goron dude. We're gonna go tell him we did good thing for him. So that he can go do more good things, presumably for us. And after that, we will probably go talk to Big Burly Burly Man and uh, see about things of calming Rudania. Hmm. Need something? I beat that Igneo Talus. It'd be hilarious if one of these ones, like, oh hey, I want you to go, or, like, mentions a monster to you. You go and beat him up, you come back, and like, No! I was supposed to do it! If I didn't do it, I'll never do it! Uh What? You say you beat the Igneo Tals at Darunia Lake? Hmm, I have an idea. How about you sell me that achievement for a cool hundred rupees? <laughs> the ownership of an achievement, sure. Yes! The deal is done! Here you go, brother! <laughs> thanks, thanks so much. Can't wait to tell Master about the Igneo Talus. Guess that's one way to do it. Just buy the achievement. Mm. Did you tell Rohan? I still haven't been able to tell my defeat of the Igneo Talus at Daronia Lake. Mm. I'm worked up the nerve to tell him yet since I technically didn't defeat it myself. I've got a long way to go before he trusts me enough to teach me his real secrets. To be fair, it would be kind of funny if he did tell him, and then he discovered that he actually bought it. He was like, that's good business acumen, I tell you my secret. 
never seen a Goron with an eye patch before. Well, hello there. Drat! That blasted Rodania! His name's Bluto. What's wrong? Well, Rodania running wild recently. Dev Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rodania stomping around up there on the mountain? They say that a hundred years ago it technically used to protect our people from harm. But that was then and this is now! Now all it does is mess up our mining operations! We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business! I can't tell you how many times we've used that cannon to chase off that thing. But it always comes back! Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, it's just some back pain. Wait, who are you? I'm a traveler. I see. So then you came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like you already, brother. Well, my name's Bluto. I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or to make a silenced child cry, either way. Yes, it's none other than I, Bluto. I was planning to drive off Rudania like I always do, but then this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. Mm. That blasted Yonobu. When will he return? Who's Yonobu? Yonobu's a young Goron who helps me drive off Rudania. He went to grab some painkillers for my back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. <sighs> Slacker. But he's off somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see your Obu, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Ouch. How does Rock get back pain? Granted, it's he's a living Rock, but still. I'll ask him, did you see him come this way? Nice weather, eh? By the way, what are you doing here? You know, Yonobu? What's a hireling like you doing trying to sniff out Yonobu? The boss asked. No. Huh? The boss asked you to? Well, if the boss sent you, I have no choice but to cooperate. Hmm. If you're looking for Yonobu, he went up to the abandoned north mine. Let's go to Rudania's back again. And he's trying to help fix the boss's back so they can drive back that awful beast just like always. Anything else? Yep, yeah. I'll do. Uh. Goodbye. Again, hilarious that that just looks like a Goron in a box. Get out of here, you stupid sniper. Oh, his eyeball's gonna cook to death. His eyeball is mine! Shit! Yeah. yeah, you stay down there. I'm gonna place this bomb. And then when you come back up, you'll die. Haha, <laughs> fool! You can see me, but you can't see my bomb! And now your guts... Your guts are mine. Hello there. Yeesh, what's going on today? So many people out and about. You should know it gets much harder past here. There are also lots of monsters. It's really dangerous. Well, who are you? No. Who? Me? Ooh. They call me Drac! Ever since Divine Beast for Rudania showed up, there's a ton of lava. It's way too hot now, and there are more monsters around, too. Boss keeps watch over this area, but he can only do so much. So, do you need something else? Where am I? Ah. This is the abandoned North Mine. Oh, and this is the little ditty we all used to sing as we work. Ammo goes boom till lore fills the room. Gather sand off a of rupees galore. Dig all the day to get the good pay. Yeah, this is the famous mine, my man. Where it was until the mine beast for Rodania showed up. Now it's way too hot. There's tons more lava and all kinds of monsters out and about. It's so dangerous we can't dig here anymore. So, do you know Yonobu? Oh. Why is a stranger like you asking about Yonobu? Boss wants to know. Huh? Oh, boss does? 
Well then, I guess I better tell you where no, you know who is. Oh. You know, but went to the vault to fetch some painkillers. But now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. This place is dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. So, do you need something else? Ah. Goodbye. Come to think of it, I didn't think to go and check and see if I could upgrade my armor with the fairies. Actually, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> it would be hilarious if, like, oh, it makes a frame, uh, it makes it flame proof. Then I'd be like, ah, I wouldn't even need my ice diddly deep to fight the eye, the, the, the talus. <laughs> so, are you gonna defeat the divine beast? Hopefully. <laughs> It'd be kind of hilarious if this is the one divine beast that just completely stumps me. Also, realize I probably might not have all the materials I need to upgrade these, let alone twice. Mm. But we shall see. Mostly because I figure that out of all of the things, these might have a level 2 set bonus. And that would be nice to get, but I do not know if, it, if I have the materials for it. We're going to quickly check and see, and if not, oh well. Done. Huh, you spawned out of nowhere, second bloopy, how dare you. No other fairies. Probably because I have a ton of my backpack. Hello, great fairy. Uh. I want to see if I can mm. upgrade my lava diddly dees. Well, at uh. least level one. Because of the fireproof mm. lizards. Luckily, I know where to get a ton of fireproof lizards if that's all I need for level two. I mean, this Divine Beast wasn't too hard. I feel like the getting to it is going to be, like, the hard part overall. So it seems like this should have a set bonus. Alright, so it looks like we'll have to go uh, grab a bunch of fireproof lizards for the level 2. But luckily, the one mine down from the top of ah. Goron City should have a mm. decent amount of uh, fire lizards for me to grab and get level two. And hopefully that'll make it so that these, like, uh, I don't know, protect me a bit more against the evils of the, the heat wave. Ah. All right, so we'll need six fireproof mm. lizards after this one. Off I go to get more fireproof diddly dees. Alright. Uh, we'll go down since getting from it's basically equidistant, at least to me. <laughs> I wonder what the like difficulty rating for each of the Divine Beasts is, like, by the community. Like, which one's the hardest to do first, or which one's the easiest? Personally, I think, uh, Varuta is the easiest to start with because you don't need any specialty, like, equipment to really... Like, you don't need a specialty equipment... You don't need to really rely on elixirs. You can just go to Zora's Domain and do it really quickly. Whereas, like, uh, Death Mountain, you kind of have to worry about the flames. Eh, I smack you. I take your bird fly. Because, like, uh, Naboris, you have to go through the Gerudo Desert, which alternates between freezing cold and, like, uh, blazing heat damage. Then up here, you have to worry about mostly catching on fire rather than, like, uh, overall heat. 
to get to uh, the uh, Rito Village, you kind of have to worry about uh, blah blah blah, like uh, the freezing cold surrounding Rito Village. So, my rough approximation is, like, at the very least, the easier two is probably the Zora's Domain and Rito Village, while the harder two are Naboris and Rudania. Let's see, do I have anything that can protect me from the heat? Because, let's see, because I'm still in... Well, less like protect me from the heat and more like uh, stop me from burning to death. Because I used up all of my... So I'll have to be careful not to scare off all the lizards. Let's see. Aha! All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this one... To cook an elixir so that I can get into my Sheikah outfit and then be able to sneak around a lot more. That's my plan. Oh, wait. I already had one. I'm an idiot. I thought I used all of my drinks. And plus, uh, just making this means that I don't use a powerful one, because I think I went super hard on making my elixirs powerful before I came here. Okay, because I need six. Six lizards. be able to upgrade my suit and I should ideally aim for more just so I have a uh, generous fire resistant elixir making just like if I want to have it as an option I see a lot over there. I do like that there's just a ton of the fireproof lizards underneath every single rock. I think that should be like my maximum limit. Oh, not, not, not under that one. Illegal. And I think I scared a lizard away if I heard that correctly. Sadness. Fairly certain I looked under this one. It'd be hilarious if another one already found its way down there. For a moment, I thought the head of that hammer was a lizard. So while there were a lot here... Oh, that is actually a decent lot. Still think that, uh... <laughs> I, I guess I got decently lucky my first time through. Because I got, like... A ton of fireproof lizards, my first uh, visit to that mine. <laughs> I mean, Varudanya is hard because of the place it's in, but after that, uh, after getting the armor, it's just a normal boss. That's good to know. Out of all of the Divine Beast bosses so far, I think the only one that kind of kicked my ass was uh, Naboris, and that was because of the second phase making me go, oh, I have to, uh, what do I need to do? And I kind of floundered for a bit. I don't think I ever got hit by, like, the, like, lightning rods. But it took me a moment to realize that I did indeed have to magnesis a lightning rod into its face so that it would explode. I want to know what the set bonus is more than anything. More than anything. Uh. Tell me what the set bonus mm -hmm. is. The power of the set uh. bonus I demand. Mm. <laughs> Mom. Yes. Oh, 
let's see, what do we need here? Smothering butterflies and moblin guts. Uh. The moblin guts I've been using to make f my fireproof mm. potions. Uh. That'll do, fairy. That'll do. Uh. Let me see. I am now fireproof! <laughs> so hopefully that means that uh, if this is like a super hot area, I can withstand it even more. And I don't have to... W and also just realized uh, I could have used this against that Igneo Talus. I could have, but I'm a fool. Remember to stay hydrated as you go to hell. Do you think that in... The world of uh, Legend of Zelda, they don't say go to hell, instead they say go to Death Mountain. And the insult just doesn't work against Gorons. It's like, oh, why are you telling me to go home? What did I do? But now I can stand here and not catch on fire. I'm a Goron now! <laughs> ah. yep. I kind of like how different they look. <laughs> hey, stop that! That's boss's cannon! I completely forget the voice I gave this guy. Don't you dare touch that lever! Oh, I'm gonna touch it. Oh, I'm gonna touch it hard. Or can I actually not touch it at all? Maybe my... Ah, my bomb did it anyway. And it auto-loaded. Impressive. I'm coming for you! I am immortal! I... Oh, you lived. That is illegal! Oh. I wonder if it's possible that hitting these things with an ice weapon actually instantly kills them. I am now intrigued. Well, I heard... You dare? You dare try to do things to me? That is illegal! I come for you! Oh, that's bad. What if I hit you with ice? Ah, uh, your, your tail is transparent? No idea why their body parts, like... Don't... Like, ign What the fuck is this?! Okay, I, I guess... Because it is this place, it kind of makes sense that uh, bombs would instantly detonate while out here. My bad. I am fool. Eh. Okay, I get it. Um, I would like to climb. Because presumably I can uh, set bomb here and detonate that and... Thing will happen, maybe. It looks like it can. All right, we need a better cannon attack, I guess. I don't need levers. I use bombs to bomb other bombs. Oh, that actually does super things. Cool. I thought I was going to aim at the rock pile. Probably because I need a different cannon, probably. Maybe. There's another cannon over here. I wonder what it's aiming at. Oh, at other people. I almost fell into lava. I'm fireproof. Probably not lava proof.
Oh! Don't touch that lever, bastard lie to me. Neat. So I can turn it and probably detonate upon the glowy rocks. Very interesting. Yep, it looks like that is going to perfectly aim. Oh, it's good. <laughs> I heard the musical cue. So it is indeed going to become nightmare time. Guess I'll use you. Oh, there. I guess I get it. Fire! <laughs> Shoot midway. I get it. Now we're gonna let the uh, the evils rise so we can skip them. I don't need to watch the evils rise. I've experienced it enough. Oh wait, these guys are gonna come back to life. Shit. Right at or oh, yep. I forgot that I still had bomb arrows. Uh, <laughs> I have to come in here. And uh there we go. Oh, that hit him. It's magical. Interesting that uh, destroying their bases seems to stop them from respawning. Unique. You can't shoot me. I am Jesus. Hylian Jesus says, fuck off. Now let's see. Yeah, horribly missed. But luckily, I'll go ahead and shoot this. I like that apparently some things are built to be destroyed. Fire! Fire! Ah. The enemies of the Empire live another day, slightly. Fire! <laughs> that guy did not give a fuck! He did not care. But now I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna blow you up. You thought you were safe. Lo and behold, we're not. I forgot that you can do that. Well, I'm just gonna bomb you to death. Because I can. I... And you're a jerk. Well, you can stay down there, I guess. So I'm gonna blow up your home. Fire! Onwards we go up the mountain top. Onwards we go. I'm almost disappointed that the Blood Moon doesn't like stick around as a thing throughout the entire Blood Moon night. I think that would be kind of cool. Just the Red Moon always existing throughout all the night. Oh, how nice of you to not be destroyed. Ooh, it's a royal bow. I'll keep you because it's good to have a backup to get my big old bow back. Hmm. I think I need you to blow up that and things will happen. Let's find out. Let us watch the magic happen. Blow up God and call Aladdin. Fire! Yes. Not really secret, but is thing. And thing good. Did 
Did you know Boo lock himself in with magical rocks to avoid work? Illegal! Oh. He has magical shield. Spurred on by his fear. We must throw him to the lava lions immediately. I like that. That's kind of like a, a puzzle that's also probably priming us to use those cannons against Rudania. Fear not, giant rock man. I saved you from yourself. Oh man, oh man, oh man. We found a ninja what am I turtle. Gonna do? What are we gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! You have a rock smasher, huh? use it. Yanobu, Goron Youth. Teenage Mutant Ninja Goron. Hmm. 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 Now that I've gotten a good look at. Whoa, it's a Hylian! Hmm. Were you the one who broke through the crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother! But what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Looking for Yanobu. Huh. Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Phew, oh. oh, thank goodness. In any case, I'm sure I'm glad you saved me, Goro. My name's Yanobu. Everyone calls me Yanobu. Makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for Boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide stealing in the entrance, Goro. By the way, how'd you break those rocks at the entrance, Goro? With a cannon. Huh? Huh? You use Boss's cannon? Nothing so difficult to use. I thought only Boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver these painkillers as soon as possible. Oh. Sorry, I've got to run. But do come by and see the Boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay, then. Goodbye for now, Goro. I don't know why, but doing that voice is hard on my, like, jaw. I don't know why. But that can't be it. There's treasure in their hills. I'm gonna take this and crush it! Nah. Mine! Oh, I have had room for both. Purple rupee! We are stealing from the Goron. I guess kind of makes sense that the Gorons would have ice, like, arrows. I almost said ice rupees. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> Purple rupee in a chest. That makes sense. Purple rupee in a jar. Was not expecting that. I guess I can go talk to, uh the other Goron, and he'll be like, Oh my god, you used the cannon. I'm gonna have to kill you now. It's company policy. <laughs> Get out of here! Go! <laughs> I saved the world. Uh, hey, you! Don't mess with the boss's cannon. You don't want to send a cannonball flying, so don't even think about putting any explosives inside. Oh. Goodbye. You know, it'd be hilarious if I could make an ice diddly D out of the lava, but I cannot because the world is cruel. The world is cruel and made by bastards. The world is a nightmare. What the fuck? Oh, it's a lava bomb of hell! I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> Though the cliff face uh, protected me. I did her! I survived! Whoa! The 
has so many pots. But there are no pans. That is illegal under the Constitution. What? <laughs> Why'd you move? Yeah. Morning, but a beautiful day. By the way, what are you doing here? Goodbye. Let's see if I can remember what voice I gave you. Oh, it's the tiny traveler! Your noble told me all about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Aliens like this sort of thing, do right? Hell yeah! I'll take it. I don't need it, but I'll take it. Okay, then. Well, I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yonobu. I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give the Rutania a good walloping... Daruk? Are you telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? See that statue up there? That's Daruk. I remember seeing that when I came in. It's basically like uh, the Konoha Mountain Faces. I wonder how long it took him to carve that. Oh, and there's uh, Daronia. And I can only guess that other face is uh, another Goron from another game that I don't remember. other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the group. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Lots Just of rocks. Look at all those delectable <laughs> rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity cannon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guys? <laughs> <laughs> Impressive of Link to withstand that. Hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Which is probably all Seriously, the pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. <laughs> That's kind of huh? cute. Range through the peaks, kind of like the forest through the trees. What is going on? Lava bombs? Oh, just rocks. Neat. He has a shield. All right. So what was I saying? Just gets right back that to was it. a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. Huh. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. I mean, it is very important, probably. And then it turns out that Death Mountain is actually Calamity Ganon. We must freeze over the volcano. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Aliens are strange. Anyway, you know who's actually a descendant of the great Daruk. That's why that slacker can't even use Daruk's protection. Oh, can even use. He uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudania. You fire him at Rudania? That seems cruel. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Mm. All right, that's enough out of me. Time to go drive off Rudania. <laughs> Yo, Joe. Are you okay? Oh, I'm just peachy, dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yonobu that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? You should be at Elden Bridge. 
right. So, ah, we probably have to climb all the way up. Uh, get to here, cross, gotcha, gotcha. At least I assume. We basically have to climb Daruk's biceps. Nope, can't fly all the way up. I don't even think Ravali's scale would get me very far up. But we're not gonna cancel. We're gonna launch <laughs> Yenobu ourselves. I always wanted to use a Goron as a cannonball. Hmm. I'm curious. Now the question is, how do I, like, uh, drive this? Oh, I probably have it on there backwards. Because the bomb cage is, uh... Back there, that we... Presu I presume would stop a bomb from killing me. Well, let's see. Fire! Oh, that's cool! Well, that's cool. I like that. If it weren't for, like, the cannons, like, that I activate with the bombs, I probably would have been like, oh, no, I'm too scared. The bomb would probably hit me if I tried to detonate it right there. Bomb-powered minecarts. Brilliant. Fire! For your sins. Goodbye. Uh, for your sins. This is very cool. Oh, but I want to read this. Hot Springs. Death Mountain's markers number seven. The world-renowned refreshing Goron Hot Springs. Who's there? Who's disturbing my morning bath? My Hylian tourist, eh? How's the water? Bah, lukewarm. I'd like to relax in some really hot water, a lot hotter than this nonsense. By the way, I don't see many tourists like you equipped to stand up to this heat. I'm impressed. <sighs> Even still, don't you go near Rudania. If you do, no matter how well prepared you are, you'll be burned to ashes. <sighs> in any case, getting across the bridge of Elden is impossible right now. The boss probably raised the bridge to keep Rudania from coming over here. You almost look like you're drowning. Oh, because you are. <laughs> Not really, no. Okay, could you get that? <laughs> Not really, no. I picked a treasure between gear and bar, bri between here and the Bridge of Elden. It's an amazing stick. Really cool. But behind it is boys. Interesting. That's funny. You stay right there. Um. You're being very rude. Very rude. I probably could have passed them by, but oh well. I wonder where the child hid his treasure.
Well, time to hide. And I see you. Die. <laughs> I am a god. Oh, hey, uh. Shrine. It took me far too long to think of the word shrine. Because my brain is turning to mush. Well, different kind of music's playing, so I guess we're close to uh, Yonobu. We'll go ahead and activate it, but we won't do it just yet. Da 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 I wonder if there's like a shrine in the middle of Death Mountain. Poor guy, he's getting harassed. I missed. Ah. Yeah, if you stay right over there. You know what? You hit me. I'm going to come over here and I'll smack you instead. I don't even know what hit me. I need to eat big foods. I hate that at the perfect time. You're a jerk. How dare you dodge my arrows? Illegal in 50 billion years. D drill shaft? Gronarsons used a recycled m metal to forge this weapon. The tip is made from an old excavation bore, which affords it unmatched piercing capabilities. I don't think that's how, like, spears work. Crazy strong, Goro! You saved me again! You almost let me burn the guts of my enemies. From Twitch chat, howdy. How are we doing today? Uh, better than I was earlier. My headache has uh, receded quite a bit, but I do not trust it because it has been going on for three days and it is evil. Hmm. But uh, we are probably on our way to... Presumably, uh, bring the fight to Rudania. <sighs> Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. Uh, still no sign of the boss, eh? He's not coming. Huh? huh? Not coming? But why, Goro? His back hurts. <sighs> After we went through all that trouble to get them, the painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Well, if boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll just head back now. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, you're not going back? But why, Goro? I want to board Rudania. Huh? What? You're going to try to board the Divine Beast? What if you... Who do you think you are? Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro. Hmm. Well, I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? I can shut it down. Oh, hmm, well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. Huh. The problem is, good old boss raised the bridge to Elden. Bridge of Elden. To make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. In order to get to where Rudania is, we'll have to find a way to get the bridge of Elden back down, Goro. Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it. Oh, but we can't act get across unless we figure something out. If Boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, Goro. Oh, oh it occurs to me that you know how to use the cannons, don't you, Goro? 
Maybe we can get across after all. So let's just do what I do to help boss sometimes. That means I'm gonna be the cannonball and you'll launch me, Goro. Are you sure? Hmm. I've got Daruk's protection, Goro. My ancestor's help can't possibly fail me. That means I can smash into anything and it won't hurt one bit, Goro. My ancestor Daruk was a big deal, Goro. That's what boss says. So it's just gotta be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, got it? We'll go on then. Take aim at the bridge of Elden and we'll fire away, Goro. Just, you know, be kind of gentle about it. All right. <laughs> That's far away. Although this does make me wonder, how do Gorons fuck? The real question is, how do they actually raise that thing? Impressive. We did it! See that, Goro? If we put our heads together, anything is possible! The power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection, it really is something else, isn't it? Anyhow, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, Goro. So let's get a move on and cross that bridge, brother. <laughs> oh, he's actually joining me on the mission. <laughs> let's see. Bridge of Elden. Heat level two. Non-Gorons turn back or burn. Joke's on you. I'm fireproof. Cutscene time. The vine beast Varudanya. Angry lizard. That fox. I wonder what the inside of that thing's gonna be like. Oh. Horrifying. Oh. Oh no. Sending an army of bastards. Up. Can I just shoot them down? Like, they don't look as scary as the flying guardians. Oh, yikes! The sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Radanya will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt, Goro. I always get spotted. The magma bombs come raining down one after another. If boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think you'd be able to do that, Goro, and I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm. Maybe the best idea is for you to sig give me a signal to let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be, Goro. Got any ideas? A whistle! <laughs> if only we had mind powers, though. Huh? A whistle? Ah, oh, it's a great idea, Goro! When I hear your whistle, I'll either stop at my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Even though it's kind of like calling a horse, Goro. Okay, then. I'm counting on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. We could like just drill our way up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wait here because there are overlooks that we can hide under. Not really that one, but the next one. Uh, 
Let's -a go. Hmm, <laughs> big boulders. I'm supposed to do here. I need to like get its attention somehow, I think. Because I don't think I can shoot it down, because it doesn't seem like normal guardian stuff. Ah, I can probably shoot it down myself with this cannon. Maybe. Or maybe it's for future. Actually, it's not loaded, so I guess this is for a bit later. But, hmm. Oh, oh, maybe. Idea, maybe. Can I freeze you in time? Oh. Ah, new idea. Instead of freezing you, I'm going to knock your brains out. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> you ready, you big... Tootsie roll pop. You can make it. Good job, boy. Yeah, because I'm not. I didn't want to risk like attacking it with a bow. Luckily, I looked around and saw victory. going to assume that I just fire. Take that! Ah, we're forcing it away. That makes sense. Hibbity hoop! Hibbity hoop! We did it, Goro! We can keep this up. We should be able to corner Rodanya. All right. Let's take a look at where you end up. Where you go if you're scary. Probably a secret to this. Okay, it covers all of that. I wonder if I can shoot it down. I don't think so. Trying to see through the particle effects if there's anywhere that the boy can hide. Hmm. There is stuff up there, though. There seems to be like a metal box. Metal box is. Yeah. 
drop more of these on him. And they won't know what hit him. Here I was looking from the bottom. I guess I'll just have to take them all out and go back down to normal land. I wonder if I could just like bap it or if that would make it angry. So. Just for the risk of in case it made it angry. Huh. So it seems like it might make me, uh, like, um, want me to build a bridge. But why do that? Why build a bridge? When I can just get over there, drop this on your head, and call your Nobu over. You are blocked. You are meant to be stable, like triangle. Say 99, you're gonna be obliterated. <laughs> Say good night. Yanobu needs to work on his hearing. He needs to work on his hearing hard. I killed all our enemies, Yanobu, with the power of gravity and hell. Oh, it's cute, I just looked at my mini-map for the first time. And Yanobu has his own little icon. That is adorable. Ha <laughs> 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 you can't outrun me, little flea. You are mine now, the... But they show me the bucket of no. Don't you do that. Help that is me. illegal. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you missed. And I missed too. Uh, we are a bunch of misses. Ah! Spot a kick. You are illegal. 50 states and years. And now your body's gonna flow all the way downhill. Again, interesting that you, like, don't burn while you live, but after you die, you burn, uh, majorly. You burn in the major leagues, kid! Shoot down Rudanya! Yeah, you get on the far part of the mountain. You stupid lizard. We did it! Direct hit, Goro! Thanks to Daruk's protection, that didn't hurt me one bit, Goro! My ancestor came through for me! If we keep weakening it like this, we should be able to get inside! Don't let up, brother! I'm gonna go get me a block, 
and I'm gonna kill them all. Yeah, with the power of block. None of them are gonna... Unless they all disappeared. I think they might have... I think they stole my br my bricks from me. They stole my bricks! Oh, wait, no, there's one of them. They reset the bricks. That's what they did. Who needs the proper way of doing things? <laughs> I will smash them with a brick! <laughs> the power of a brick crushing down upon them. They will never know what hit them. Ah, and there's also an updraft over this guy. <laughs> Do you feel this? The weight of your sin. This is probably not at all what they intended. Definitely not. Nah. <laughs> but I do wonder why there's an updraft. Maybe they expected me to send bombs, but I do it this way. <laughs> A cartoonishly evil way to take down the enemies. It is what they deserve. There's a big old rock. The noble can't hear you. He is stuck in the wind tunnel. Yeah, there's like a, a lot of updrafts they apparently want me to utilize. With what? My box! You shut up taking my box away. My box is my box. There's a lot of like, like, uh, rocks up here. <laughs> yeah, what is with all the updrafts? I just, do they actually uh, presume me to use uh, bombs? Mm, possibly. <laughs> they do intend for me to use bombs. <laughs> How adorable. Uh... Oh, I was wondering which way it went where. You Nobu, come along. We commit terrorism against ancient Shika technology. My way is better though. Job. I don't want you being caught. Yep. That bomb just refuses to fly. Yep. I wonder where Link learns how to whistle like that, though. Yep. Damn it. Hmm. Oh. I guess on this one they want me to bash him over the head again. Time for head bashing. Hello, little mechanical fiend. It is your 3 a.m. head bashing. Yeah! Stop! 
Jeez. Oh, I hit them both. Magical. How dare you shockwave me? I'm using up all of my... Well, that's gonna hit. Ah, don't, don't, don't send me off the mountain. Shit. <laughs> it didn't even let me grab onto the goddamn mountain either. Rigged. Of course, you give this guy a blunt smacking object. Illegal, I say. Luckily, I have lots of big food. <laughs> that miraculously isn't burning. It's Death Mountain marker number nine. And that's all they have to say about it. They disowned this marker. Shoot the lizard! We have made the lizard depressed. Where you gonna go, lizard? Hide atop Death Mountain? Feel like you've been bullied? Oh, we made everything worse. That was so cool! You really put a licking on that thing, Link! I mean, it was mostly me throwing at you. This is our big chance. Are, are you actually gonna follow me? Because I don't think I've ever been followed onto one of these things yet. I fly down. And now that it is flat, like Flat Fuck Friday, we can beat it up. Gotta say, that was the most involved, like, uh, taking down a guardian bit. Travel gate registered to map. Now speak to me, ghost of Daruk. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You never thought that I died? You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? Yep. You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. Lots of eyeballs. Kind of feels like this is the most corrupted of them all. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on. Oh great, now it's dark in here. And also not super heated. That's nice. I don't think that I have like Anything that'll super helpful. But I do have... Oh, I wonder. Kinda, sorta. Ooh! That's pretty nice, though. Let's see. Actually... Attack up 16, I'll take that. I wonder if I could, like, up the gamma in this game and see things. Eh, 
Yeah. Oh, hey, a torch. Kind of precisely what I need. I have my big smasher, so I don't really need to worry too much. All right. Uh, so these are big and metal. Hmm. Ah, I kind of see, I think. I missed. need to get the oh, very rude closing on me hmm all right we'll have to take a look at that later first things first we need to get the map of this place Take out all the eyeballs that we see. Demalice this place quite a bit. Did not expect this place to be like uh so dark inside. It's like a horror a horror show. Especially with all the malice noises. I can't see anything. Hey, Daruk, you got a tutorial on how to get the lights back on? But what will the control for this place be, I wonder? Tilt 90 degrees. What fun. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Ruthania are noted by the glowing points on your map. Indeed. To take back Ruthania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Do I? It's dark in here. Ah, there we go. The light is back. YouTube chat. Hi, man. Hello, hello. We are no longer in the middle of the darkness of evils. Now we can actually do things. Okay, I can only presume. I did it. My knowledge is impeccable. But, uh... Well, I am fireproof. <laughs> Not sure if that's what they expected. But I do have a fireproof there are suit. Four terminals remaining. That's the way. Like there probably is was a way to like, like uh, do it normally, but I just I was not expecting it. Here I, I could have sworn that those doors were closing on their own. Before. There are three Granted, the remaining. darkness of the All place right. Let's get messes up your mind. 
How is there moss in this place? Because we do need to tilt this 90 degrees at some point. Gone, Malice. Oh, hey, chest. Multiple chests. So, hey, Neon, do you want to know trivia facts about the Gorons from Legend of Zelda? Sure. Yep. I would not mind some Goron knowledge, especially because I don't know that much about them. I guess we'll see what happens if we tilt this way. Not my torch. Malice. It just like completely changes the vibe of the place. Hmm. Totally, totally. that last because I have an idea. It did not last. Damn it. I see you, Malice. Well, I guess before going, I mean, beyond this place, we shall come down here and presumably activate you. Then we can there just tilt are again. Two terminals remaining. Just a little more. Ah, okay, I get it. I now understand. Understand, understand. We can tilt it only these two ways. There's also more explicit different things the characters are talking about, the Gorons, in Breath of the Wild, uh, while it's setting in Japanese language. Don't think I fully caught that, due to verbiage. But I guess there's big differences between uh, the go like uh, English and Japanese when it comes to the Gorons. Which could be neat. I hear malice. Probably just you. Go ahead and grab these chests because I can. The real question is how are these chests sticking to it? An ancient core. Very nice. Oh, well, I guess... Activate, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't even meaning to find you. Just one terminal remaining. Just one more. I do believe that along this is another chest. A 
another bow. Let me see you look at that again. A royal bow with a six attack up. Let's see, what bow do we might want to drop for you? Yes. There's hmm. come over here. Hmm. All right, so there must be. Well, that's very rude. There's malice around here somewhere. even see your malice. Get out of here. That becomes flat. I'm just trying to think of how to get a Sheikah Diddly D up there. You remember the Hylian women visiting Gerudo while she's mumbling to herself why the Gorons are allowed to enter a town for women only? In English dialogue, she says there is an exemption to enter Gerudo town. Because I think I commented on how there like never seems to be like a Goron woman anywhere. I think I commented on that, so. I wonder if they <laughs> I wonder if it's because maybe the Gorons Got kind of walk it. Huh. Interesting. Still no idea where these fucking things are coming from. Get out of here. Can't kill the malice, fuck off. Oh, I'm now I'm wondering where it went. Help. Okay, these heads are getting very annoying. Will that fucking malice show itself? Will A, show itself, and B, fuck off. Now where's the fucking head? Because this is stupid. Fuck off. I take issue with this. Majorly. Spawning far too many. Far, far too many were spawning. Goddamn swear. And I still hear malice. Oh, I'm gonna die. Undo, undo, undo! I gotta eat. Now I don't even know where I am. Ah, 
down back here. So I guess the orb actually did go on down through. Ah, that's why. This can come in and save it a day. Activation. Nice. That was the last terminal. Now go ahead and start up the main control. There yes. should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. Now I wonder what kind Stay of focused, little guy. like flame Ganon this will be like. I guess go ahead and flip things on over. But in the full translation of the Japanese version in Breath of the Wild, she says instead, Grons also count as female to enter the town. That's strange, right? Not really. Because they are still like a mono gender race, or I guess like non gendered at all. There are just Gorons when it comes to the Gorons, so. I guess that's a bit too like gender introspective in the Japanese language for the insipid Americans and English people. They're just like, yeah, we can't trust them with this knowledge. But it is interesting. Especially because the Gorons do use words like brother. Kind of makes me think of uh, Steven Universe. We found it. We found the male gems. They were in the Legend of Zelda universe this entire time. Well, here we are. I never have I've never done this dungeon before and I've never fought this presumable flame Ganon. So let us see. What is the being that brought down Daruk? Show me your power. Okay, so you've got an axe and fire. Fire the light gunner. With one big hefty meaty arm. Watch yourself now. That ugly pain in the crack is Ganon's handiwork. Thing got the best of me a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. Go get him. Let's beat him up. Watch out for that sword. Oh, that's... I prefer to look out for his uh, fire. Oh. Oh, damn it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you missed, idiot. <laughs> Lay it on, little guy. You are an idiot. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I do not fear you. I have the power of the Master Sword. Yeah. Yeah. Master Sword. Master Sword. And now for round two. What you gonna do? Become a volcano? Oh, 
Oh, you're imbuing your Chica technology. Oh. Bastard took the shield. That flaming ball is dangerous. I can kind of guess. It's a flaming ball. Um. Am I supposed to, uh... What if I hit? Oh! Ah, it's because I'm supposed to do that. Just like the little bastards on the way up the mountain. They suck. Gotcha. Would you like another bomb? Or have you gone back to normal? Get smacked. Get smacked. Get smacked. I'll hit you from afar with my sword. Booyah. I don't even think it hit me once. The real question is, how did the fire guy beat a rock guy? Don't tell me that he melted Daruk. That'd be kind of suck. We burned him away. We get a health jar. Look at it, clearly a jar. With all the red jam Link could eat. Ba -da -ba -da! Booyah! Let's activate. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re enter the interior of this divine beast. Let's do it! Put this thing back under our control. Well, I guess technically put it back under Daruk's control. Great work, little guy! <laughs> Big old ghost champion. I owe you big for this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. Booyah. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. Booyah. I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! Booyah! I have no idea what this power is, so it'll be interesting to, like, see how I use it. I wonder if it's gonna be like armor form from Halo Reach. From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. 
And now all four divine beasts are free. All four spirits. Ready to lead the smackdown on Ganon. Oh, hey, I even see a shrine from here. Watch it leap. That'd be kind of hilarious to see a leaping lizard divine beast. Heh. It almost looks like it was looking at your Nobu. Link is in the castle. Rutania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here. Even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Do you see him, your Nobu? Uh, <laughs> hey, look at that. That's sweet. I think he's the only Still one to ever see one. Strong indeed. <laughs> <laughs> only one of the other people to see a spirit of the champion. I mean, if you saw the spirit of your national hero, probably be an epic feeling. Daruk's protection. A protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. It will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding ZL. Please. Yes, Zelda. Yes, I hear you in Thanks my head. to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us, and the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. <laughs> ah, we can let Impa know. But first things first, yeah, we need to talk to Yorinobu. Hey, brother! Thanks so much for appeasing Rudania, Goro! I don't exactly know what you're doing in Rudania, but... Well, it seems to have calmed down, Goro. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rudania. I wonder, was that his ghost? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now, Goro. Huh? Oh, that's right! I talked to Boss about you and he said to bring you to him. An order from Boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro! This makes me wonder, like, uh, what game the Gorons first appear in. I assume Ocarina of Time. Like, overall, overall, presume. Hey, it's you! Yanobu told me everything. You really are something else, brother, you know what? I can't believe you conquer Rudania. Color me impressed. Mm. Oh, good grief. Did you have to do it when my back pain went away? I was already in raring to go at Rudania myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that! Me! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, and I'm also happy to see Yanobu finally got his act together. I know that's your doing as well. But enough back patting and other such nonsense, take a look at this! The divine beast Valrudania has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain! Alright, I've still got to thank you, brother. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it, keep it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. Uh. However, well, as a Hylian, you probably already know this, but apparently a hundred years ago, the Hylian champion had a legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Mm. But said, you've got a rather fine blade already, don't you? Come to think of it, you look just like the Hylian champion who fought the Calamity alongside Daruk. <laughs> I wonder how long-lived the Gorons are. You'd think that the Gorons would be like super duper long-lived, all things considering. Boulder Breaker. This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion Duruk. Duruk made it swinging it around look easy, but a Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. Well, that I do. So what are you going to do now, you know, boo? Huh. Hey! The boss said his back is all better, Goro. Oh, and Rudania, stop rampaging. I feel like I can finally take it easy, Goro. Good for ya, you know, boo. And more than likely, if this ever breaks, I can come over here and be like, Hey, make me a new one with this, uh... Your diamond. But I guess we will go and talk to Impa. All four of them are down. All four of them along <laughs> the loading screen. Kind of cute. Each of them kind of has their own unique walk cycle. They're not all just unison. Oh, more from Zelda? Link. Yeah. We just talked. I have witnessed your journey. You have overcome every challenge laid before you. I'd like to imagine that, yeah. Ruta. Rudania. Yeah. Meadow. Naboris. But not in that order. All of the divine beasts are now free. Yes. With the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Hidden within what? Myself? Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. All right. All right. Oh, the champion's ballad. EX. Yeah, sure, that's something we can do. And see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. But now that we're no longer in place of hell, I can put on my Rito drip once more. And also, uh, put on my preferred bowl once more. <laughs> Yo, Impa, I did it. I saved the world. Ah, it seems you have visited all the locations. A hundred years ago, you and the princess were quite close. You were a comfort and an encouraging presence to her as she struggled each day to fulfill her destiny. That is why she believes in you, and why she has the strength to fight Ganon all alone. 
Oh. Link, the princess. Please hurry and save our princess. She has been fighting all alone for a hundred years. By the way, how are you faring thus far? Mm. I sense it. Their presence. Daruk, Orbosa, Ravali, Nifa. A hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone. Oh. But I could not protect them. They died without fulfilling their destinies. I have lived all this time thinking they died in vain. But this energy I feel from their presence. Ah. It seems they have not given up. I can also sense that they were all overjoyed to see you again. Even ravioli? Oh. Now you all serve the same purpose. Now it is time to attack Calamity Ganon while he is weak. Hurry to the princess. Go now. Oh. I believe you will find Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle. Even with the blessings of the divine beasts on your side, you must be careful. Calamity Ganon will be well protected. Be prepared for anything. And I can't touch this yet. Oh. Been guarded by a tribe. Master Christian, do not touch it. I do wonder how I activate that shrine quest. Maybe it's the final shrine. If uh, you do all other shrines, you can do that one. But now we head to the Shrine of Resurrection and see what the Champion's Ballad is. Because I do believe that's what the DLC was called. So I wouldn't mind activating this and see what it has to say. And depending how engaging it is, maybe we'll do it before we go beat Calamity Ganon. Calamitous Ganicus. But before we activate, we shall save, just in case the world goes mad. Be hilarious if this is a joke by Calamity Ganon. Steal my Sheikah Slate away. Sheikah Slate and champion verification complete. Activating the Divine Beast Tamer's Trial. As associated locations have been marked on the map. What do you mean, the Tamer? What? What? Are you? Take hold of the provided weapon to begin the trial. After returning the Sheikah Slate to the terminal in the Shrine of Resurrection, a mysterious weapon appeared out of nowhere. You must use it to defeat all monsters at the four locations within the Great Plateau. Okay. Of course it is. Let's see, is there anything I'm willing to throw away for you? I guess, uh, 20 damage. Double da da Well, give us a try! Are you zapping my strength? Zapping my baps? Is this a one-hit trial? Kill all the enemies without dying, trial. I am Mars Koshia. I now address the one who wishes to master a divine beast. To undertake this task requires unwavering dedication. That weapon defeats foes with one hit, however the reverse is also true, as its wielder will also fall to a single hit. You can use this weapon's ability only twice within a set period of time, only when it is glowing. When enough time passes, the weapon will regain its sheen along with its power. At the four marked locations within the Great Plateau. Defeat all monsters present to prove your power. If you are not up to the challenge, leave this plateau. The weapon will return here and the trial will end. 
Well, neat. One hit obliterator. A weapon that defeats foes with one hit and causes the user to die from one hit. It loses its sheen and power after two consecutive uses, but will eventually regain both. Well then. It seems like it even took away my, like, other powers. Just one punch man the enemies. I can use bows, but I can't use my other weapons. It's playing the Korok music. Oh. Are the keys gonna come for me? Although I could just bomb them instead if they came for me. Okay, I just want them out of here. around to shoot you. What damn tree? <laughs> Probably not the intended thing. <laughs> then again, they did leave me with... with it. Oh, and it's a big guy up there. He's probably the one that I meant to beat with the one-hit obliterator. Well, let's risk it. Bung. Yeah, they do say, like, beat all the enemies. I can use this to kind of sniff out where enemies are. Good old Ravali. His power sustains me. As long as I just don't get whacked upside the head by an acorn and die. Well, you're annoying, aren't you? Get out of here. So I'm going to assume that that's permanent. Why is this a very unique shrine? There are three monster bases remaining. Concrete shrine that appears. I wonder if that means that you can do each, like, one, one at a time. And then it keeps your progress. 
I can only assume. But now it's probably going to be, ah. Uh, will this be a nightmare thing, or is it just to give me present thing? I can hear noises, so it seems like more challenge. Collected soul. With evil little spike balls. Hmm. Well, I guess one thing I do could do is, like, freeze them. But that one I think I should be able to grab pretty easily. Darn. Aha! Got you! And then I can just place them away. This next one feels like it's gonna be a bit harder. Because it seems to be going a bit faster. But then again, I wonder... Seems to be bouncing around, so maybe if I... Darn, almost. Because I'm going to collect them all. Darn. Although that little stone one seems a little bit scary, too. Darn. I feel like that stone one could get the speed and kill me. Darn. I do kind of like, though, that it is, like, not an instant thing. It does, like, have travel time for the magnet powers, although I feel like that should have gotten it. Oh, well. Darn. I will get you. Like, sometimes it's mostly that stone one that scares me. Don't get the, come on, that should have totally hit. Uh, I'll probably just risk it. All right, so there seems to be multiple things. It seems is this like a okay, is not weighted. I need to get the certain orbs, and I lost the orb. Come on, I wonder if the big one will even fit. Gently bring over. I wonder which one you are for. <laughs> Probably the other one. <laughs> Presumably. Just need to be careful of that one. We'll use this as the barrier. It'll go past. Then I run by. Well, as avoid the little stone one that seems to go at hyper speed, in case it does indeed try to kill me. And I can always come back and get the treasures later, but I am on a health problem. What do you give me? In the name of the goddess. Oh, just a spirit orb. And I guess just these are tracked through the trial. I do kind of like that you come back to this place. For apparently something. And apparently it's uh, like, don't quite understand because just like this trial is for one who wants to tame a divine beast does this mean everybody else had to go through this so it does seem that I can hmm. I wonder if teleporting would technically count as like a uh... 
like, technically count as, ooh, leaving. Well, I mean, I did the trial, so... I think I should be safe to teleport. I just presume. It'd be kind of mean if it technically didn't count. I still have it. Okay, so that's the general area. Yeah, this one seems a bit scarier. Because you do have to kill all the enemies. Kind of mean to put a hive down there. I don't think just rolling a rock into those guys will kill them. Well, darn. And they have their tongues. Which is a big old danger. I am willing to spam my weapons. And I don't think that there are enemies on the other side that I need to worry about. Oh, you bastard. I was going to make the comment of like, ho de ho, we are right next to the evils. Where did the other one go? Oh, you bastard. Ah. I'm gonna wait for you to come to me. Where are you? Oh, that didn't count. Get out of here. <sighs> of course, there was one left alive and a guardian. <sighs> the pain and the fear, the pain and the fear. I suppose one big question is... So it does, I presume, that I can leave, like, whenever, and all I have to do is destroy the monster bases, then I can come back and do these whenever. Since that updates. Okay, the next one is kind of down by the farm. 
We'll head there. Just spam my bow a lot out of fear against the enemy. And save my wacka wacka for important enemies. camp will be. Oh, horses? I'm willing to spam. I hear noises. I th okay, I think it was just my one hit of Tron making noises because I used it. I need to be careful. Because I am shooting bombs. but I don't know where the last presumable enemy is. There are so many explosives, why? <sighs> Just having a one-hit Challenge thrust upon me out of nowhere. Nerve wracking. What's in here? A bunch of arrows, thank you. Can I save during this? I can. See Yiga clan hideout? This is how you treat your players. Well, something ran into the spikes. Okay, the last one is up on Mount Hylia. Don't even know if any other normal enemies spawn during this. Would be kind of mean if they do. Granted, they did spawn the bees around the hives, so it is entirely possible. And we're already dressed for the super cold. I was trying to think, I was like, is that a butterfly, a bird, or a keese? Okay, we're gonna climb all the way up. I think I have, like, the perfect amount of stamina. Alright, considering that there is ice keys being spawned, I think that answers my question. They do indeed spawn normal enemies up here. It's kind of nice that I can just see Naboris. See Ruta. 
Rudania, and Meadow. I probably could have taken fall damage there. Uh, that would have been bad. Hmm, since we're here, fire might be best against enemies. Yeah, I just want to get rid of them because I don't want them to just hit me out of nowhere. Do not want to risk it. Although it does seem... Oh, nope. There we are. I still proclaim. Very mean. Why are you so slow, sly man? I only have one HP to lose, not even a full heart. And there's a decent amount of ice keys flying around this place. Of course there is. I'm going to climb this because I want to make sure that there aren't any enemies like on top of the mountain with me. And that'll give me the height. Like a high ground advantage. Jesus Christ. Ice keys, damn you. That's so annoying. Flying enemy should not be included. I have them to use and abuse. Not for much longer. Use and abuse, I will. That's right. Get annihilated. I will cheese this challenge immensely. And I'll wait for you to recover. We are. All right, he's kind of afraid. Oh, just not expecting to see another one. Still find it funny that they are affected by elements. Come on, let me shoot you. There we go. don't really see any other major enemy. Then again, they could just be a Lizalfos hiding. Not 
probably won't be able to properly sneak up on you. I think I heard something. I don't like that. Because there could be frickin' ice key surround, and I don't like that. Could be. It is the, me only having one HP of damage to sacrifice that is just making me fearful. It's probably just the choo-choo that's right in front of him that's making noises. So we're gonna get up, we're gonna smack him once, shoot the choo-choo. You hear nothing. Smack! Booyah! It cost me a great eagle bow, but I will take that. That is worthy sacrifice. I just uh, need to find where the last, uh, the next one popped up. I think just up here. Popping up down there. And now we'll do these three, and then we will see. Etsu Korima. Let's go down into the hellhole and see what's gonna threaten me death. And remember to stay hydrated or else the headaches will come and murder you. No, not the darkness, not darkness. To you who sets foot in the shrine, Etsu Kurima, in the name of the goddess I offer this trial. I just hope that there's nothing that can damage me. I say as things that can damage me shows up. I think I should be able to block. Okay, I need to be extra careful of this one because it can go up and down, presumably bypassing my shield. And now it's only going to get harder. that's up there. If that's just the wall. It could be just the wall. So unless there's like a secret in there. Nope, it was just get by, okay? Alright, with this, uh, carry me. I'm still afraid. Oh, nope. I should be able to withstand the fire. But, uh, I am afraid of them potentially being like, yeah, this should deal damage, so you shall. You fuck. Why you do this? Why you send little bastards after me? 
I, again, I can only presume that I can only do these while I have the one-hit wonder on me. I do not care if there are treasures in this place. Get me out of here. Oh, this is going to send me out there, and I am not built for the cold weather anymore, and that'll probably kill me. That's not good at all. So when I get out there, I need to click fast. Or else I'll take instant damage and die from the cold. Wait for the loading of the logo. What? Cass? Cass? The fuck? What are you doing here? Not that I'm super complaining, but what are you doing here, my dude? What a doleful sky. Oh? Hmm? How unexpected to see a traveler on this solitary plateau. Oh. Ah, oh, we meet again. Not to be rude, but you don't look so well. Much like this plateau, you're looking a mite dreary. Uh. Oh, I apologize. Perhaps it was not in my place to say as much. I understand more than most the burden of travel. As for me, I came to this spot to pursue an ancient song about a hero at this very plateau. Oh. I can't shake the feeling that we were destined to meet here. In any case, would you like me to hear my song? Oh. Thank you, kind traveler. Now then, please open your ears and your heart to my song. The flames crawl, the waters rise, the lightning strikes, and the wind sighs. A beast beyond the divine form Who waits a hero forevermore Let not the sound leave horses ride Breathing in the breath of the wild It took them until a DLC to put on the diddly D. Mm. Curious indeed. As it were, I perused my teacher's old notes and found that song there. Mm. Mm, what sort of sound could alarm a horse so effectively? Kabam, kapow, rumble, rumble. Honestly, I haven't a clue. Oh. It certainly helps to visit the locations that inspired the song. Yes, it helps open my mind to inspiration. Those notes had other interesting songs too. I plan to visit those locations as well. Interesting. I don't think it, like, noted down his song. Leaves a sound that leaves horses riled. I honestly don't know. And it didn't just mention, like, the elements of the divine beasts so i do not know from youtube chat turns out there's a delay between mobile and pc on live streams hmm interesting da -da -da. super cool for them to bring cast back for this was not expecting that well let's go and teleport to the others i wonder if they, they expected this to be the final shrine that people do. Me, I just uh, activated them and ran out of fear. Yeah, but it is interesting that there's a delay between mobile and PC. Well, let's see if we go do this, if he'll come out again, or if he is indeed only spawn on that one. That'll then lead out into the greater quests. Could be that. I don't like that there's water on the floor. I feel like that's going to kill me. Oh! To you who set foot in this shrine, in the name of the gods, I offer this combat trial. Major test. No shit. 
Okay, uh, my plan is freeze it, run in, smack it. That's all I can do. It's gonna shoot at me too. Okay, good. Uh. Yeah. Fear. Fear takes hold of my heart. Alright, now let's do some weapon management. Hmm. I'll keep the cobble crusher. Uh, the, ba the battle axe will do better than you. Guardian spear. I don't think I have anything that's worse than a guardian spear. Like, I know that I can kill things and... What do you mean? Why are you giving me bomb arrows? What do you mean? Oh, you're mean. You're a monster. Okay, I'll put bomb arrows on. What do you mean that there's more? What do you mean that there's more? Okay, they're just little guys. Hey, little guy. See if that kills it. Okay, good. You are vile, I must say. Meh! I heard noise. Well, game corner. I fear. I fear everything. I do not want to be killed by the evils. Okay, got a small key. Then what the hell is in this little corridor of evil? Okay, that's a corner. Okay, it's just a treasure chest. Don't activate any evils. Very rude of this monk to decide, oh, a major test of strength when the hero can die in one hit? Not enough. There needs to be more. Please just have the monk behind here. It is not. I mean, technically. Technically it is. Shuka! What do you mean? I just want to knock him off. And then I'll deal with you in a moment. Oh, 
Okay, that actually probably made it worse. Mostly afraid that it might do something different. Okay, yeah, please die. Oh, you're not an instant death one, you're an actual warrior. Are you dead now? Okay, is that all of them? Did I cheese your bullshit? Thank you. But I can still fall to my death if I'm not careful. Of which I almost did. What did the ancient hero ever do to you? Major test of strength was right. I wonder what that even means subverts the prophecy of ruin. Are we all supposed to die? Bleg. I thought like, oh, fight one guardian, that's gonna be potentially harrowing. I did it. And then it wasn't it. There was more. More evils to follow. And nope, it seems Cass only spawns on that one. Well, off we do to the final one. Ooh, okay. Hopefully it's not bad. Hopefully it's nice and easy. Ooh. Didn't expect a whole thing to come out of this. I thought we were just gonna go, ah, we're gonna do Radania. And that'll be it, but then like, hey, go do this thing, says Zelda. Leads me on to my do. And what shall this be? What kind of room is this? Ah, evils. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't like that that's uneven. I probably should have saved. Come up to think about. Yeah. I don't like the flippy flop in this. Oh, that's not good at all. Just keep moving. The evils of the spikes call for all. 
Definitely move. Well, I'm not gonna make it. Well, this is gonna kill me. Yay. It should be the save to going into here. I wonder, can I save within shrines? I can save within shrines, huh? I am a double fool. <laughs> oh, physics. All right, now that we got through, save. See how many times I die on this single shrine compared to all of the other shrines combined. Okay, got through there. Save. Da 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 Basically you gotta go balls deep. Just like, do not even think. Just go an in instinct. Oh. I thought they would do. Huh. Some of those were fake and didn't move at all. I died to the fly... Like, I didn't even die to the jangling balls. I just died <laughs> to gravity. I did it. Even the final death run didn't kill me. Even though it felt like... <laughs> oh, I don't know why. That just got the anxiety rolling. But we did it, and we can get like another heart if we want to. I am Mars Koshia. You have done well to conquer the trials laid before you. You are Hyrule's beacon of hope, that's why I tried to kill you. But your trials have only just begun. The divine weapon shall lead you. It's not even over? It'll lead me where? Ah, four orbs. Four directions. Yep, one lands at Death Mountain. One lands across from Ruta. One across from Naboris. And one kind of down from Meadow. Ooh, and they make brand new shrines? This is actually kind of cool. You have proven your power. A new journey awaits. And here I thought we were just about done with this game. Go to the four locations that will be revealed to you and reach for greater heights than ever before. Well, they are marked on my map. 
And I got my hearts back. Yay. Interesting. And also interesting that they brought Cass back for a little bit. Then he did, but he did mention that there were going to be other songs in other locations, so... Kind of cool we might be seeing more of Cass. Although that does imply that he has left his family once again. <laughs> but I do believe that that shall be it for now. We did a decent bit. We calmed Von Rodania. And we began the Champion's Ballad as a consequence of doing Von Rodania. Still wonder what that bit of like, ooh, if you want to tame a divine beast. Like, what divine beast? Completely forget. But that will be that for now. We did more than I anticipated we were going to do, which is always fun. My headache didn't return to annihilate me. Even at times when I almost thought that, like, ooh, this should cause headache. And headache didn't come, which is nice. I really like Breath of the Wild. The characters are fun. The locations are nice. The drip is immaculate. It's just very, very nice. I do wonder, like, if they had, like, the same general idea of, like, aesthetic, Sheikah technology, divine beasts, but if they didn't go in the direction of open air, open world, I wonder what a more linear, traditional Zelda game would have looked like out of, like, Breath of the Wild. Like, what if, if, instead of being open world, it was still kind of segmented areas? Like, oh, loading zone you go through. Like, that also makes me wonder if, like, if there was kind of like a halfway Breath of the Wild where it was more traditional, but you could still, like, change your armor or something. It's just interesting to think about that Breath of the Wild could have gone in a million different directions, if you really think about it. And personally, I like how it came out. Even if I do think that the rain is still the evilest thing to ever exist, I do not understand why people are like, meh, the weapon degradation bad, when the rain is right there. Granted, it only really got in my way in certain like areas like oh i'm going for zora's domain and stuff around zora's domain and the rain was attacking me at all angles meanwhile at death mountain and the gerudo desert no rain whatsoever i guess it kind of makes sense but still kind of funny that for this latter half of this playthrough rain has done nothing against me which is great but yes next time we will probably i don't know we might open up next time doing the final sword trial and then move into doing the champion's ballad very well mightly also just realize champion's ballad then bring back cast kind of makes sense but yes thank you very much for watching everybody next time we might do the sword trial and then continue with the champion's ballad if you want more from me i try to stream every monday wednesday and saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you want other things from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings, has links to everything that I do, like my edited YouTube content video stuff at Neon Icy Wings, my streaming YouTube or streaming Twitch, depending on your preference. My uh, streaming YouTube channel also has all these streams get uploaded to it after the fact. Uh, whenever I can wrangle brain to remember to actually do that. Yeah. And then uh, for various different places, I upload art too, similar to my little character in the corner and my in-slate art. And then there are a few sites that I upload some writings to because writing is fun. And finally in my link tree is my Patreon, which is a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. Bye. Bye.